I'm Coffee Kevin, and we have, uh, yeah, now I'm getting all kinds of hands. Everyone's hand signaling me. Okay, yes, we're on the air, and this is the long-awaited, ta-da, the Brim 8-Cup Automatic Drip Review that I've been promising for a long time, more, longer than the 30 days I used to test it. Let's start at the beginning. I ran into Brim at 2019's International Houseware Show in Chicago. Where did Brim come from? I recall Brim as a decaffeinated canned coffee from years ago. I don't even want to say how many years. Their product line seemingly sudden emergence uh, really floored me. A bright, effervescent woman named Lisa McGinnis introduced herself to me, and after my brief apology for not being an Amazon buyer, she suddenly interrupted with, Oh, I know Coffee Con. I attended Coffee Con New York last summer. Well, from there, she proceeded to explain Brim's full product array, which is impressive by anyone's standards. Turns out they use the Brim trademark and logo. Their parent company is Sensio. Now, Sensio, you, rem you may remember them. They made one of the best first wave single cup pot entries. Anyway, Lisa and I have kept in touch, and after bumping into her again at SEA's Boston Expo, she promised to send me a few items for review. Well, here's my first review, and this is the Brim 8-Cup Automatic Drip Maker. And as you know, at CoffeeCon, we never do anything without making coffee, so... Bam, I just hit the... Uh, oh, I just hit the button. I never want to use the word bam. That reminds me of a, a, a talent. Okay, uh, first of all, they, they have open machine architecture. As you can see, uh, it looks like it's automatically br brewing us a batch of manual drip pour-over. Uh, it's designed with an oversized shower head. And uh, there we go. And you can see uh, the wide dispersion claims full grounds coverage. That means it's as wide as the grounds bed, which is great. And you can rest assured, you're going to see this in a second, all your coffee will be more or less equally saturated with hot water. Brim offers a few pre-infusion stage, which is happening right now, followed by a several second pause, and then it begins a series of spaced, pulsing water pours rather than a single continuous stream. Now coming up there is the hot plate. Uh, Brim's design returns to a conventional hot plate over the more common thermal carafe, which has uh, become uh, hot lately, figuratively. And, uh, but this keeps your coffee hot uh, either way. Brim offers a supplied laser metal cut filter uh, they also include some number four paper filters. Finally, and this just might be a fashion forward first, Brim supplies a silicone two-button jacket to protect your hand as you pour. <laughs> the server's design makes it easy to use your Brim coffee maker minus the machine. As you can see here, uh, it's easy to craft brew your own coffee with Brim's or anyone's kettle. How does all this work together in practice and ultimately taste in the cup? Well, let's see how this coffee maker does in testing. Here are the results of my 30 days in-depth test of the Brim 8 cup. I tested the water temperature both under the spray head and most important inside the submerged grounds bed. The gold cup brewing temperature specification is 200 degrees Fahrenheit plus or minus 5 degrees. This temperature is very important to properly extract oils from your grounds. The standard requires the brewer to deliver this temperature during the majority of the contact time. I measured the Brim 8 cup over multiple batches and found it was quite reliable. It takes about a minute to ramp up to temperature and then stays handily at spec temp throughout the remainder. Gold cup tests are optimized for a one liter batch size. Brim is one of the few manufacturers who specify an optimum batch setting right on the brewer. You can see it every time you add water. It's ideal for the brewing perfectionist. As an aside, I typically do tests at a variety of batch sizes just to note any differences, which are pretty common in drip makers. I'd say the Brim maintains its flavor 
profile from batch sizes as small as four cups to the full eight cups. Gold cup standards require a coffee maker to complete its start to finish water grounds brewing contact time within four to six minutes. That's for drip coffee, remember. In my test, as I mentioned before, I got consistently excellent coffee at all points between four and eight cups. The sweet spot is definitely between optimum and maximum. Should you regularly wish to brew less, you may wish to tweak your recipe by increasing your grounds to water ratio, or say grind finer, in order to match the optimum setting results. The good news is with slight tweaking, you can brew gold cup quality at a variety of batch sizes. Equally important, but not part of any published gold cup specifications, nor claimed by Brim, were two design features I'd like to draw attention to. Brim has ensured there's enough distance between the grounds and the shower head. This distance is often too tight with other brewers. When using very fresh roasted and fresh ground coffee, foaming can rise and make a mess at the spray head. Brim designers made sure there was enough space so that extra ultra fresh roasted coffee beans could be used without any chance of blooming grounds would reach the shower head. In countless tests, one seen here, you can see that even at full rise, there's plenty of room for blooming. The shower head is equally important to good brewing. If one thing in handcrafted coffee drip making remains superior, it's the guiding hand of the barista, making sure every bit of ground coffee gets fully saturated with water. Brim has done a great job designing a wide dispersion spray head that showers the grounds evenly underneath. This feature combined with random turbulent water spurts produced an excellent end result. Time and again, the grounds at the end appeared evenly extracted with a smooth top. In fact, it was among the best automatic drip coffee makers I've ever tested in this regard. Some manufacturers go to extremes to seal their brewing process. Brim does not. One might expect this to cause heat loss and subsequent reductions in flavor and aroma in the cup, but I detected nothing out of the ordinary in my taste tests. It almost makes me think this is one of those times when the industry's marketing folks have made a mountain out of a molehill. I think that's a technical term to describe it. You might have noticed that Brim provides a traditional glass carafe on a hot plate rather than a metal thermos. This is going to be a matter of personal taste. Some people simply claim that any additional heating causes coffee to taste burnt. Another group claims the metal thermos is impossible to keep free of old tastes and aromas. My opinion after my taste test is I prefer the 140 degree heating plate for the preset 40 minutes hold time. I don't ordinarily, I don't ordinarily recommend storing coffee beyond this time anyway. Compared to stainless thermoses, I prefer the ability to completely clean the 100% borosilicate carafe each time. Just note the carafe is all glass, but very thin. If you drop the carafe, it's likely to break. But that's a minor trade-off in my opinion. Note, I tested both the supplied permanent gold etched and number four paper filters initially, and then completed testing using just the paper. I prefer paper. It produces the best, most neutral, and sediment-free coffee, which is my ideal. This doesn't mean you should follow me. If you wish to use the permanent filter, it's supplied and easy to clean. By now, I'm sure you know I was highly impressed with the Brim 8 cup. I can't recall a product, especially an introductory one, that was this good. It just makes great coffee, batch after batch. It's not the most feature-laden, but we've concentrated on the most important thing with this maker, 
and that's brew great tasting coffee. All this at a low price point. I'd be surprised if this isn't a good seller. But in any case, you've now heard it from me. The Brim 8 Cup is an excellent, very worthy entry in the automatic drip machine world. I'll say it again. It does one thing superbly. It brews great coffee. I'm Coffee Kevin.